welcome back in this lecture we will talk about wild card so what is a wild card wild card is a character that can be used as a substitute for any of a class of a characters in a search which means whenever we are doing any search in the linux for example we have a lot of files and we want to search specific files or specific extension files or specific type of files then this wild card will help us to save our time and you can get and you can increase the efficiency and flexibility of searches in the linux so we can use multiple wild cards here for example the star zero or more characters you can use and uh, question mark is a single character and uh, square bracket we can use for range of character and caret symbol we can use beginning of the line and uh, dollar symbol end of the line so that we use this wild card in our linux machine with some examples so here few are the examples so the first command we can execute ls hyphen ltr command with star dot xml let's say in a linux directory you have hundreds of files and from that hundreds of files you want to filter only xml files maybe you can you can see dot xml files or dot yaml files or dot log files or dot csv files multiple different kind of extensions files are available but you want to filter only xml files and this way you can able to execute lsf niltr and star dot xml so before xml whatever it may be the name but it will display all the xml files so now let's go and connect to the linux machine and try with these examples so right now i'm inside this ubuntu linux machine and here i created few files here for this testing and i created some files called .xml music.xml 12 1.xml music 2.xml some csv files some log files so among this i want to filter only .xml files so what we can do ls hyphen ldr and you can give star .xml and then if you hit enter it will display only .xml files so before dot whatever it may be the name of the files but the extension of the files are xmls so i want to display only xml files so this way we can able to get the output of the dot xml files and you can remove these files also for example you want to remove this specific files then what you can do rm hyphen rf and star dot xml so star dot xml so this way also you can able to execute you can remove these files whatever is star dot xml so all the xml files will get deleted okay so not only this way you can filter in another way also for example you have here four files called a b c d a123 b123 c123 and d123 and you can search for example ls hyphen ldr star 123 before 123 i don't know what is there so i want to get the output of all the files which are ending with the 123 so now if i hit enter i can able to see these are the files now so d123 c123 b123 a123 so this way also you can able to use this star wildcard to filter specific files which are ending with the 1 2 3 or it can be vice versa also starting name you know the ending you don't know so now we discuss this two now we are going to talk about touch command for example you got a request to create some around 10 files like file 1 file 2 file 3 file 4 you want to create the names of the file name and you want to create 10 files so how we are going to create generally as a beginner we are going to use touch command touch file 1 file 2 file 3 file 4 then keep on will give the names but if it is a 100 files then it's an hectic job to give each and every name of that file so what we can do we can use this curly brackets and you can give the number how many files you want to create and based on that those files will get created so now let's try this command with this wildcard curly bracket wildcard so now i'm going to create touch 
and uh, the file is the name but extension will be like 1 2 3 4 5 6 till 20 or 10 what are the number you want to give so just give curly bracket 1 and dot dot i am just going to give 10 and then again i am going to close it the curly bracket so now with the help of this it will get created before executing this i would like to check in the present working directory what are the files are there so i don't see any files which contains with the name file so i am going to execute now let clear the screen touch command file and open curly bracket 1 dot dot 10 if you want 20 you can give 20 if you want 100 you can give 100 and then close this now hit enter now the files will get created just go and check see here the files got created with the file 1 to 10 so previously before this curly bracket command we were discussing about star asterisk so same way again for example ls iphone ltr file star now i know lot of files are with the name of file but there are different numbers are there so if you want to filter it out you can just hit enter so now it's only displaying the files which are starting with file this one okay so you can just check you can use two letters also like ls iphone ltr f5 star so you can just check this way also you can able to get the output so this way you can use curly bracket if you want to create multiple files so this is one of the example for the curly bracket wildcard now let's see the another example ls iphone nl and question mark 1 2 3 so what is question mark single character so you don't know what is this character over here but you know remaining three so with this command you are going to get the output like whatever the com whatever the alphabet here available so you don't know about it that's why we providing question mark here so it is going to give you the output so now let's go and connect the machine so now again we are into the same machine just clear the screen so i can see some files are like so what I'm going to do, I will execute rm rf file star. So I'm deleting these 10 files. Apart from these 10 files, if any other files are also available with a file name and some other extension like some other, apart from these 10 files, if any other files also there, they will also get deleted. If any files, let's say manually, I'll create one file. Touch file cost. Some file I created. So here if you see, these many files are there so what i am doing rm rf file star so along with these files which i created with the curly bracket wildcard this file also will get deleted because till here we, we provided file star so this will also get deleted so now if i hit enter now this file also got deleted this one it's not available so this way you can able to delete files also bulk files if you want to delete then you can check whichever matching characters then based on that you can provide this asterisk character sorry edit it asterisk wildcard and then you can able to delete them and now we were talking about single character so now ls iphone ltr and here you can see a b c d i don't know so only the first letter it is changing and remaining numbers are same one two three are same so what we can do we can give question mark here and one two three so if you hit enter it will display okay these are the files which are available with this one two three but uh, here i don't know what is the uh, alphabet is available or alphabet or character whatever it may be so the first letter whatever it may be we can able to get that information with this question mark so not only for single single character so you can able to get it for multiple characters also let's say the another example if i take i created some more files here okay for example uh, here if you see okay 
so for the single character we'll see another pattern so if you see here in this path we can able to see four files so inside these four files what are the common things we can able to see which is pa the first two characters are same for all the four files pa 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 and the last character is also same yes but only thing is the third character is different s r d a this is a difference so now what i am going to do we can try ls iphone ltr p a is common and here i am going to give question mark and then yes so if i hit enter then it is going to display in this way so not only the starting in this complete name wherever the character you want to filter you are going to get it with the help of question mark so another example also we can see if you don't know okay so in this file name we can see the third character is different so that's the reason we executed this command with pa question mark and yes and it gave this output for example there is another scenario you can also use and here in this path we can see multiple files and you want to use this question mark for four times for four characters then what is going to happen let's say i will clear the screen ls iphon ldr and uh, you can use multiple times also this question mark for multiple characters like two characters four characters so we'll see what happens if i use four characters so now if i hit enter so it is displaying total eight files here if you see here whichever files having the four characters as a name then it displayed all those files over here it's listed out here so this way not only for one time so multiple question marks also you can use and uh, for example for four characters it's displayed which are the file names which are having with the four characters as a name so this is how you can use the question mark to list out for single character or multiple characters bye for now we'll meet in the next video